Hello and welcome to Late Night Creatures, the late night show where I draw creatures, and that's the whole show. Uh, it's our 40th episode. It's kind of a milestone, uh, so I'll just try and make it extra special. I don't have anything planned. I usually don't have anything planned, so we're just going to jump on in start drawing a creature, because that's kind of the, uh, the whole point of the show. Now, let's see. So our 40th episode... Who knows what number of creature this is. I start with a very big, bold head. That is a... It's an interesting direction to take off the bat. It's kind of got that, like, classic... That very cliche cartoon character head. Where the mouth part is, a uh, This wide, you know, it's like that nor that classic... This type of head so many cartoon characters have sort of started with one of those so we're gonna do we're gonna do that let's let's lean into that for a bit so we got this uh this line this fold over here is a lot more of a crease than most uh heads like this are <laughs> give him some nice little eyes there and there we go See, this is just a very nice, classic start. I'm going to leave the mouth area open for now. I'm going to leave it open for business for a bit while I work on other things, because I don't know what I want to do with it yet. So we can just move on to, uh, to parts of the body here. So I've, I've kind of made this... Oh, did I just draw? Nope. I've kind of made this nice little rounded section. Like, it's looking like a mouth up there, which is not what I want. We'll, that'll get fixed. Right now, it kind of looks like he has just a major underbite. So let's add on to this uh, this body here. I don't want to take those round things all the way down, because they'll start to look like a snake or a worm, which is I don't think is where we want to take this character. I may be wrong. Um, we may be wanting to take it exactly in that direction. I am definitely going to make these creases and folds make a little more sense because, of course, it's that's important. It's important for things to make at least some sense. So, oops. so I'm going to just try and give these... That is not the type of meat that I want. That is. Let's see. How do I, ma how do I make that, this little meat fold? <laughs> Awful, awful thing to describe. Make this little meat fold. There we go. That's the type of meat fold I want to see. I'll tell you what. Very good. So, the, uh, with this, whoops, I just closed that window on accident. I was doing some stuff. So with this creature, I, I'm having, I wonder what to do with, what to do with, um, the legs here. Because it is not a new worm ball. Nothing can replace the original worm ball. That's a callback to episode 2, by the way. Those of you who are watching who haven't seen that. Uh, it's a callback to the second episode. I think I'm going to do this. I think, I think this is kind of the move that we're going for. Uh, very nice. Very nice leg. I think we're going for just a, a very nice haunch. I don't know if haunch is the right word. I think that's just a word for leg, but it also might apply strictly to horses. I don't remember which. If you know, let me know. We're here on this program to learn, I think. I'm not entirely sure what the what the overall moral message of this program is. That might be something that I should I should nail down. Ah, whatever. We'll worry about it at it at a uh, different time. So uh, yeah, I'm just giving him some nice big meaty legs. <laughs> Gosh. The way that we describe some things on this show is not ideal, but it's our it is the way of the thing we do here. And that thing we do here is make things <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Boy, that's a leg if I ever seen one. Gonna just give that some nice little definition there. Very good. Maybe blur the lines. I think this is all skin. I don't think he's wearing any anything in the way of clothes. So we're just gonna bring that very oh that's very good. <laughs> How nice he looks. 
Anywho, bring this down and around, which is very nice. Awesome. And I, I want him to be in this nice little kneeling position that I've uh, set up for him here. So we got to make sure that that all works. Uh, let's see. Haunch can be human or animal. Thank you very much for the insight. It is very appreciated because I really did not know. I'm sure I knew at some point. Did not remember off the top of my head. There. Oh, God. Wolf. Okay, cool. Um, I, I didn't mean wolf. This is He's a great boy. I mean, just look at him. <laughs> Oof. When you zoom out, take it all in. That is a, that is definitely a uh, full, a full out, um, I guess, creature. Gosh, what to do with this mouth? It still just looks like this top line here is the mouth, but I don't think I want that. It is, it is very good, but I don't think that's what I want. I think I want to take it just sort of, I think I want to just take it up here, like that. I think I want to, yeah. I think I want to do this, like so. Make some bold moves. I'm gonna erase this. We don't need that right now. And you see, you see how how much this uh, <laughs> this opens up the drawing to so many more possibilities. Like, like looky, looky here. Now he can have nice realistic teeth. Everyone loves it when you give realistic teeth to cartoon things. It's like everyone's favorite thing. For real. <laughs> Very good. See? See, this is the type of this is the type of art that we do here on this show, if you're new. Uh this is almost every episode is something similar to this. I mean not exactly, you know, it's just whatever, the tone. The tone is very similar. Give them nice. <laughs> I like this. I like this this big old grin. He looks nice and goofy. Uh, I'm going to give him a tongue. Because, you know, things have tongues. Fun fact, things have tongues. If you didn't know, you do now. This is a very educational episode. Maybe the point of the show is to educate. I've never thought of it like that. I've never thought of this as a educational program by any stretch of the imagination. But maybe I've been wrong this whole time. Maybe this this program is made to show people the wonders of of life. I mean, I mean, what's more wonder? I'm I'm gonna do a reveal. Hold on. This I mean, the wonders of life. And I mean, what's more wonderful than this whole whole deal we got going on? I mean, what's more wonderful than that? Not much, I'd say. And uh, I just gotta I'm gonna come in, cut in some things here. I'm gonna do some nice cutting. Cut in here. Very good. Awesome. Cool, very good. Cool, very good. Okay. So. <laughs> yes, these are pectoral muscles. But that's, you know, we aren't going to do anything super drastic with them. Uh, we aren't definitely aren't gonna add slightly too realistic nipples to them. I'm gonna get flagged on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, no, we there's no reason for us to get flagged on YouTube. We have done nothing wrong. You see, if we had done something wrong, then maybe they could have flagged us. But they can't prove anything. If the YouTube cops ask, these are eyeballs. <laughs> these are friendly little. Uh, chest eyeballs and with the rest of this show that's not too out there and so they'll have to buy it they'll have to buy it I mean they, they'll view the rest of my content and be like I mean yeah I guess could be chest eyeballs but then they'll also probably view this episode where I told everyone to lie and but, but by that point they probably won't care anymore the investigation will have cost them too much money okay <laughs> this is very very interesting. He's a very interesting little man, little monster. I, ch I think I changed my mind about these lumps. I think I do want them to go down further. I think I want them to kind of make a very nice little 
washboard kind of look. Make him look a little more uh a little more muscular. He's this is the newest member of the Avengers. He's gonna be an end game. You're gonna see him in, in Avengers Endgame. This wonderful creature who I haven't given a name to yet. I had one I actually had a name. I had it at the beginning. Because it was a, uh, it was something I said that I thought was funny. And so I I thought that um it would make a good name. It would make a good name for a creature. But I do not remember, which stinks on so many levels, because I remember it being real funny. Well, win some, lose some. Anywho, here he is. <laughs> oh, what a mongrel this guy is, huh? Very much a bad, uh, bad thing. Bad thing for sure. Uh, I'm I'm glad that this is exactly what you wanted uh, from your day, uh, Phil Man. I'm glad that I can I can give you the the drawings that you that you so desperately crave and need and desire. Uh, with this back, you might have noticed that I erased the whole back. I I have a fun idea. Uh, saw me if you heard this one before. It's a real fun idea that I just came up with. You see. Uh, it's an idea that I've I've held on to for a long time because they've told me that it won't work, but I disagree. I disagree with all of the uh, the people who've told me you can't do that or that's inhumane. Um, I disagree with them because, in my humble opinion, this is very humane. In fact, it's so humane that it's almost humane. Uh, that joke will probably land better once you sort of, if you haven't already cued it, clued in to what's going on, once you clue in, the joke will probably land better. So keep it in mind, but <laughs> keep it in mind for um, for the show, for the remainder of the show. Just, you know, keep that joke in the back of your head until you get it. And if you don't get it the whole show, well, I did my part. That's kind of on you. Anyways, now that I'm done berating my audience, let's just do this thing with you. That wasn't very good for what the intention was, but that's okay, because I can fix it because I still have the black button. Man, it would be, it'd be a fun thing to do to try and erase draw. That doesn't make any sense. Let me add context. Like, start off with a canvas that I've painted completely black and just draw with the eraser instead. It wouldn't be too different, but I don't usually draw with the, you know, the eraser, like, tip of my uh, pen. It's usually this one that works like a pen and not an eraser. And so, I'm just going to do a bunch, bunch of these. Just a bunch of, just a bunch of these. Just, you know. Just a nice, yeah, not too many, but a bunch, but a bunch. And then we're going to move on, going to move on here, just add in some more details to this, this part of him here. If you haven't noticed, there, he has a human face on his back. That's, that's, the, that was the build up. So when I said that it was, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to assume that everyone got the joke. And if you didn't get the joke. Have a friend explain it to you. Show this, show this episode to a friend and be like, "Do you get? Do you get the joke?" And they'll probably get it. And if not, then you just you know continue the that can kind of continue that cycle until you find someone who gets the joke, and then you all get the joke together. Does that make sense to everyone? Cool, very cool. Uh, so yeah, he has a human face on his back, and now it's time for me to pull out one of my favorite tricks, which is called which is called stick arms on a detailed body. It's a very fun trick. It can be very effective. Uh, and you know, again, it's just, it's just a fun time. <laughs> See, how, what you do is you draw a detailed character that takes a good amount of time and effort and has a lot of uh, layers and interesting drawing techniques, and then you just throw stick arms on there. Uh, it's, a, it's a good time it's easy to do if you're in a pinch. 
and it really it really shows people that that you care but just a, a little bit you know it, it shows people that you care but you didn't know what to do with the arms because you drew a face on the back of the creature and you didn't <laughs> didn't know exactly the best way to uh you know do the arms as actual arms without covering up the face okay so we have one creature here or we're, we're about ha we're halfway through which means we should just have time for another creature of about the same caliber which is great i always love doing more than one creature it almost ha it happens in i think literally every episode which is why it's called late night creatures plural not late night creature that's referring, the creatures, I'm sure a lot of people assume it's referring to the series as a whole as a plural, because it's like, of course, when you have 40 episodes, you've made more than one creature. But no, it's referring to each individual episode, probably. I don't know if there's been one where I've only drawn one creature. I don't think there has. Not to my knowledge. Anywho, we gotta draw in something else. Uh, so, oh gosh, what to put, I don't actually know, here, let's just draw a shape. There we go. <laughs> There's something. Okay, yeah, we can work with this. We can for sure work with this. All right. Oops, that's the that's not a cool shape. This this needs to look cool. This guy needs to look cool. Very nice. Excellent, excellent. Awesome. So this is going to be um something someone cool I don't I don't have a name I don't have a name for either of these characters which is bad but I do have their personalities the one with stick arms he's a fun guy um but I, I, yeah there have, there also hasn't been a lot of story with this one huh I usually do a little story I I don't know this I think this 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 is episode 40 so that means, that means it's special. And I think that this is the only late night creature to exist outside of time. See, this late night creature who we'll call... Rick. This is Rick. Rick exists outside of all dimensions. He's in a being that travels in the spaces between dimensions and between time. And as such... Uh, he's never interacted with an, uh, another one of the late night creatures. I like to imagine that all my late night creatures kind of have this shared universe wherein they can interact with each other. I haven't really drawn any of them interacting with each other yet, but I could. And I don't think anyone would be the wiser because they all kind of look like they could belong together. Man, for episode 50, oh, that'd be fun to do for episode 50. For episode 50, I'm planning something very special, and I had no idea, like, what it was going to be. I knew it was going to be a long episode, but maybe it could be just doing a big old tableau of... This is going to be... It would be very difficult, but try to draw in all of our late-night creatures up to that point. So probably, probably over 100 characters... Which would be crazy. That would be fun. Maybe we should do that. Uh, I mean, more updates on that as it approaches, of course. But maybe we should do that, huh? It would be very fun. And it would remind us of a bunch of the uh, late night creatures that we forgot. Okay. So, this is... Okay, <laughs> this is kind of just a cool little elephant worm monster that I drew while I was talking. And I think maybe since he exists in between dimensions... Maybe just has a bunch of little, just like weird squiggly amoeba friends. So this is this is cool S. That's his name, and then we have this one over here. I think they're all their names are like like um, an adjective, and then what they kind of resemble. You know, I think that's maybe what. No, oh, <laughs> this. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, that mouth was very fun. I I just I kind of just threw that mouth on there, but it ended up being a very fun mouth. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe give this guy some hairs. 
just around. Uh, and this will be fun peanut. Okay, so we have Fun Peanut, Cool S, and they're, they're Rick's friends. And maybe we can give him one more friend to sort of fill it out. All right, I'm going to close my eyes for this one, and here's the shape. All right, cool. I'm going to actually do this, finish out these lines. So so we have this type of shape because I, I, see, I see a vision. I'm having a vision of what this little creature will be. Okay, this kind of looks like a Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. This is a bit a bit Pokemon with the eyes like that. It's a, a little bit ghost type here. Uh, so we're gonna have those. Those are very good. Very good little eyes. And then the mouth. I think maybe their mouth is kind of just like we don't get we aren't getting a full view of it. But we definitely are getting we're getting full view of this. This nice little wispy. It's kind of blowing off to the side because of all the dimensional dimensional wind. It's kind of knocking the saliva. And this will be odd deflated be beach. Ball. He has the longest name. This is Odd Deflated Beach Ball, Cool S, Fun Peanut, and Rick. And they're all together, they're the Dimension Boys. Very good. <laughs> Here they are. The the newest superhero team. This is the newest blockbuster superhero team. They're gonna give the Avengers a run for their money. <laughs> they all have their own superpowers and they're all unhelpful uh, Rick doesn't have any superpowers but he has those really strong legs and he can jump and eat people with his, his big back mouth uh, Cool S can conjure sunglasses uh, Fun Peanut can move either side of his so there's like you know there's like two two things inside a peanut shell so he can shift which shift those around and that's his superpower. And odd deflated uh, beach ball, um, his spit isn't like acidic or anything, but it will turn things uh, just the opposite of their original color. So like just where they sit, the exact opposite on the color wheel. And that would be his, <laughs> his deal. Very good. So now we can shade all these, all these guys. I'll give them a nice, little kind of nice little dimension dimensional color here very good boys there we go shade Rick first okay and I think maybe what's a good way to shade these guys because I'm I could do the basic shading but maybe I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm gonna do for these guys I'm gonna do like a direct front front light for these guys so that means I'm going to do is I'm going to shade both sides of them but try and avoid like bringing anything to the middle so it looks like there's a dark space behind and around them but there is light hitting them directly from the front so like I wouldn't do that but I would instead bring it around like this and cut it off there and then I would bring this down here and maybe do that. Bring that up. And then bring it back down. See, it's a just a fun little thing that's gonna also take up time. So I might stop, I might only do this for Rick, but we'll still have done it for the fun fun thing for one of them which I'm alright with time to take that here as well sorry I'm talking quiet because I'm focusing on how to shade so trying to shade something complicated was probably bad for a live, live stream and also it isn't that complicated I'm just tracing the outline but I had to think about how certain things 
that aren't clear will work. So I have to think every now and then, which makes me quiet. And then we take this, it goes around up here. Very good, very good. Just going to take those back teeth. Or, yeah, those are back teeth. Those are molars. And bring it up. Just make sure, kind of bring this into more around there. There we go. And so now it's just kind of hitting him dead on. I don't know if that, that's exactly the look I want. It's kind of hard to tell with this type of shading when you don't use color. And then for cool S, I think maybe we're just going to do um, something else. Oh, wait, I have a fun idea. I'm going to try and just backlight these guys. So I'm going to do the opposite. We're going to have everything shaded except for uh, the sides of them. Or uh, just, yeah, that was, that was right what I said the first time. Ignore my interrupting of myself. I was right the first time around. So yeah, just shading the... The... Uh, Whatever I said. Yeah, just shading the insides and not shading the outsides. I've done I have done this before and I this is kind of the way to do it. This probably doesn't look the best just because I'm a bit pressed for for time. But fix that. And that's kind of just how it how the cookie spins. That's not the expression. I wonder if you could spin a cookie like a coin. We'll have to try that. Someone try that. Take a big old chocolate chip cookie, put it on its side and try and spin it real fast. And then def odd deflated beach ball, we aren't gonna shade him. We are gonna color in his eyes though. Just for fun, you know? Why not? There we go. Quite the interesting group we got here. Okay, cool. So now that we're towards the end of the video, uh, people are probably going to start dropping out because I'm about to start talking, but I, I do need to talk about some stuff. So, uh, good news. I have decided not to, I've made the final decision, we're going to keep doing Late Night Creatures past episode 50. Um, I, I've been happy with the quality of episodes uh, as of uh, recently, since we sort of changed our, changed our tune, and I think that it is... In a, in a place to where I am happy to continue it. That said, um, I'm going to be going to college in September. I'm going to be going to SCAD. I'm very excited. It's really cool. Uh, that said, I don't know if my roommates are going to be okay with me live streaming or if I'm going to be even be able to have the time. So we might kind of have either a forced cancellation or a forced change of schedule that is probably going to be somewhat significant and since that is a possibility and I'm happy with the quality of episodes I'd rather keep our keep this show going for as long as I can before I'm forced to stop it um, rather than stop it myself I'd rather I'd rather go down fighting than I would <laughs> to just go down quietly so yeah uh again when the time comes for that we'll do that but episode 50 it's going to be very exciting i don't know exactly the plans i'm probably going to talk with some people it's probably going to be a rotating cast of guests which will be fun and hey i mean depending on uh the roommates that i have and that type of stuff if i'm if i have roommates who do this type of stuff then we might have just consistent co-hosts, which would be very cool. And I would very much, very much like that if it's at all a thing that could happen. Anyways, um, that's all I really had to say. Thank you so much for joining me this Late Night Creatures. It was a fun time. I think episode 40 was very much a special one. We have a interdimensional Late Night Creature. I think that's the first we've ever drawn. So... Yeah, um, hope you have a nice night, and I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye.